task wheel for this week. Uh, let's get straight into the questions. Our first question is from Felicia, and she asks, what's the best and worst thing about running a business with your teammates? Uh, Felicia, I reckon the best thing is, uh, you know, in business you need to be able to trust your partners, and being teammates is nobody better that you can trust. Uh, and the worst thing is, uh, they're all married with kids and I'm single, and uh, when, it, when anything needs doing, it's generally me that gets on the, on the phone and gets into the shop to fix it. So that's, uh, that's been fun. I've got a question from Adam Fife. He says, still drinking soy milk. Uh, thanks for your concerns. Adam, I know this is a really heartfelt question, uh, but no, I haven't drunk soy milk for quite a while, and, uh, and I don't intend to do so ever again. Uh, Tom Sharp asks, how is engineering mechanics going? Uh, likewise, uh, it's going very well. Thanks, Tom. It, uh, it'd be nice to have a bit more time to do some study, but uh, looking forward to the exam in a couple of weeks. Uh, we have a question from Andrew Egan. It says, what are the benefits of including beetroot juice in my diet? Uh, it's a great question, Andrew. I juice beetroot every day along with you know, chili and ginger and garlic and gulangal and all sorts of wonderful things I can get in there. Um, beetroot's got, you know, it's a, it's a really bright, Vegetable and generally bright vegetables are better than the dull ones, and there's you know, lots of lots of iron. It's really good for, for blood um, and, and red blood cell count and things like that. Um, most of this I've made up from researching on the internet, but I know that I feel better when I take it, and uh, it's part of my my daily diet. Uh, we've got a question from David Thomas. Hi Wilbur, which of your young players are you most excited about? Uh, everybody's pretty excited about Dal House. He's almost not a young player anymore, and I guess if you're after someone younger than that, um, really, really looking forward to seeing Jack Redpath get a game. He's big and he's fierce, and he, and he can kick the ball a mile, so that'll be exciting to see him run around. Uh, we've got a question from Jesse Lampy, which states, "What do you do before a game, and how much, t how many times a week do you work out at the gym?" Uh, there's plenty of things to do before a game. Uh, night games, probably the most challenging because you've got so much time during the day to kill. Tidied the house yesterday, uh, made some coconut sorbet, and uh, and ha had a bit of a stretch. Uh, but if it's a if it's a you know a normal lunchtime game, I try to sleep in for as long as I can, get up and have breakfast, and basically head straight to the ground. Um, I think the most amount of time you can spend sleeping, you know, prior to a game is you know is important. So that's what I try to do. And our last question is from Stephen Mulrooney, and he asks. Which footy team did you support growing up? Uh, I barracked for the Bombers, but uh, that changed very quickly when I came to town. Obviously, I didn't know what it meant to be an Essendon supporter growing, in, or growing up in South Australia, but uh, that, uh, that very, very quickly changed when I got drafted. So, um, wonderful questions. There was plenty more we couldn't get, get around to answering. Thanks a lot for sending them in. Uh, I look forward to seeing you on Bulldogs TV sometime again soon.